edge over opponents of all different sizes. You can feel the energy from this capacity crowd. If the King has anything to say about it, that crown isn't going anywhere. For years, legions of opponents have tried to storm the gates and knock Jerry Lawler off his throne. But his reign continues, except when he beats me. But George the Animal Steel is an absolute wild man, practically impossible to contain. Any sense of competition there may have been coming into this match, it all flies out the window when Steel gets going. Gets going, gets chomping, it's all the same for Steel, Saxton. And Corey, what's the best strategy to use against the veteran Lawler here tonight? Well, I should be asking you, Cole, you beat him. Though, in lieu of hoping for a disqualification win, I'd advise that you keep your distance from the King and his brawling abilities. If he gets too close, he can drop you with a pile driver. And when you're down on the ground, he'll drop the mean right fist square between your eyes. And King moves. What a punch. Ooh. Just caught flush. He's going for it all. Perched up top. Whoa, look out. The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. First drop. Oh, oh look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Boom. Off. Oh, Forearm just raking across the face. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Jerry Lawler with a fist drop from the ropes. For a second there, I thought we went back in time. Lawler treating the opposition like a ham and egger in the old Mid-South Coliseum. He's got the target acquired, just a matter of moments. This isn't the smartest thing to do, antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. He heads outside, count out's legal in this match. King has him clutched. Pile driver. No way Steele's coming back from that. work. Here is your winner, Jerry the King Lawler. George Steele faced with defeat here tonight. The King's reign rolls on. One thing about Jerry Lawler, the King knows how to win.